I've had many requests to do many more options trading videos. That first one everyone loved. It was the options trading for beginners. It was a basic guide on options trading. So definitely go check that out if you haven't. I'll link it in below and it's in the cards at the top. Today I'm going to show you my actual live trade that I have with a Chinese electric car maker called Xpeng and the platform I use is Saxo Bank because they are one of the few providers that allow options trading and I'll talk to you guys about my thoughts and ideas and potential issues that I've had with Saxo Bank. So this is my Xpeng trade. Xpeng is a Chinese electric car company. The ticker symbol is Xpev. Now you can see my profit and loss, I'm actually up five USD, but it says when it's converted to GBP with the fees and stuff, I'm actually down one pound. So let's talk about this. And remember, if you don't understand what all of these numbers mean what delta bid are strike price the calls and the puts go watch that first video i highly recommend it and so would a lot of other people this is a trade i've put on xpeng if i go to the options detail you can see i put in one contract and remember one contract represents 100 shares at 2.65 it was a call option because i think the stock price will go up with an expiry date of 29th of April. So when it comes to the 29th of April, I've got two options. I either lose my premium and I talk about how much I paid, or the other option is I have enough money in my account to buy 100 shares of XPEV at $30. So I will need $3,000 in my account to take on those 100 shares. Now it says the option is currently out of the money. So what that means is if I just close this down for a sec, you can see the last traded price is $29.91 and my strike price is $30. So I'm a little bit out of the money. Now, if I open up the information up again and I go to show details, remember excise, I can excise it at this moment and get 100 shares for $30 each, but I wouldn't recommend it because it is out of the money. So how much did I pay for this one contract? I paid... $265 because remember one contract is equivalent to 100 shares each of those share premium is uh, $2.65 times by 100 is $265 so when it gets to 29th of April and I've done absolutely nothing I've not closed this option out I'll lose that $265 or if I've got enough money I can take on those 100 shares now let's find out a bit more about my contract so my contract expires is 29th of April if I open this up you can see my strike price is $30. The contract with a strike price of $30, the last traded price is 2.81. So if I was to open this up, the bid price is 2.52 and the ask price is 2.76. Now I can buy it currently at this moment because the ask price is 2.76 for $276. And obviously, um, there's a little fee of $3, which is not much. And remember, with Saxo Bank, you can do a limit order or a market order. I would always do a limit order because if I know the bid price is 2.50 and the ask price is 276, I would probably put a limit order in close to the bid price. Now, you may be thinking, if the current ask price is 2.76 and I paid 2 0.65 so that difference there is around $16 so why am I not up $16 only $5 the more time you have that comes at a price and when the time starts shortening so once you've held your contract and you keep holding on to it it's going to lose its time value because as we can see if I was to go to let's say the July 15, 22 contract and let's see what the $30 strike price is. The $30 strike price, the asking price is 4.95 and the last traded price is 4.90. So you can see time adds value to your contract. The closer you get to expiry date, even though the price may have shifted above your strike price, so you might be in the money. So for example, if XPEV get to let's say $35, but I'm in the middle of April, I could potentially be making a loss because I've wasted 
a lot of that time value the options contract has. So that's something to be very wary of. And as I said, if you don't understand anything that I've talked about, go watch that first initial video. I'll link it in and that will explain the basics and everything that you're seeing on screen. Now, where do I think XBEV will get to? So recently they had a decent earnings and it was better than expected. Okay. China is currently in another lockdown or some parts of China, which has been a bit problematic, I think, for the Chinese stocks. So you can see there was a big dip where it got to about $18. Now that time I was a little bit on the fearful side. I thought it may potentially keep going further down if the war situation gets bigger and bigger that may cause a big crash. So I was a little bit wary. So I waited and waited and I went in literally a couple of days ago to buy one contract for a strike price of $30. Now, I've, I'm hoping to sell this contract in about a week or two's time because I think in a week or two, it may get to around the $35 mark. But we just need to ease out this China lockdown situation because you can see where the price has come down from in December to where it is now. And XPEV is a fantastic company and they're shipping a lot of cars to Europe, especially Norway. If I go to the contract that's ending this week, you can see the price difference. The strike price of $30, the ask is 0 0.85. So all you're paying is $85 for the premium but obviously expiring very, very soon. So you have to be very sure the stock price is going to go higher and higher and higher because it's expiring in literally a couple of days. Now, as you can see, our current price is about $29.65. If I look at contracts with a strike price of much lower, so you're in the money. So for example, $26. What this means is I can buy 100 shares of XPEV at $26 on the 1st of April and today is the 30th of March. However, because you're in the money, you're paying a much higher premium. So you're paying $390 for that. So let's just do the numbers very quickly. You're gonna pay $390 premium. 100 shares at $26 works out to $2,600. Plus your premium of $390, that's gonna give you a value of $2,990. Or in other words, you've paid, including the premium, $29.9 per share. So it's almost the price of what it is now. However, if the prices continue going up, you, you could potentially make a little bit more extra if you do decide to exercise a contract on the 1st of April. And remember, 99% option traders will very rarely exercise an option because the profits are baked in. So for example, you can see now, I'm my profit is one USD, but due to exchange rates and that sort of stuff, I'm down four pounds. So the profit and the loss is already baked in to your options prices. And remember, the key thing is the maximum you can lose trading options is the option premium. And that's only if you allow it to get right to the end and the op option expire out of the money. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on the video, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. And I reply to every single comment. So if you've got any burning questions, make sure you ask them.